Hey YouTube, it's your favorite professional organizer. Um, I'm just gonna get into the shits. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm gonna tell y'all that's probably gonna blow y'all fucking mind, including how y'all been acting over Marie Kondo's uh, confession about now that she got three babies and whatnot, you know, her life looks a little bit different. Long short, my relationship with Marie Kondo is I was very intimidated by her because I'm not a minimalist. I'm a pack rat. I'm a sentimental fool. And I felt like the way that she organized meant that I was just a trash ass organizer and everything that I've been doing for the last decade has been shit on, on everything, okay? Um, when in actuality, what it meant is that she was catering to the people who she needed to cater to, and I catered to the people that I need to cater to. I'm your favorite professional organizer that one's gonna cuss your ass out because you're not giving yourself grace. Mm. And I'll find reinforcements in your family to help to cuss you out if they're available. You know what I'm saying? We'll do. Um, the other thing is that I'm also gonna make sure that you understand that you need to meet yourself where the fuck you at. That's part of the getting cussed out on the grace part. It's like a little subsection and whatnot. I help people who have grieved. I help people who need to get through their stuff but don't necessarily want clear bins and cute labels and stuff like that, which is what everyone has kind of been led to believe what organizing is. A lot of organizers I do know though, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not necessarily preach that. That's what they show because that's that's what their clients want everyone that i i follow very much alike nah homie um when it comes to organizing and shit like that you need to make sure that you're doing it to you and your lifestyle for me it's like i walk into a client's house i'm like hey does this make sense if i put this over here and they're like no because i work over here okay boom we're gonna make sure that shit get over there but what will happen is is you'll convince yourself that your ass need to put that shit over there in that corner versus put it over there where the fuck you actually work you understand what i'm saying so that's another reason why i mean like meet yourself um the reason i'm gonna cut your ass out is because when i like to cuss you know what i'm saying it's it's my bread and butter <laughs> Okay. Um, and two, sometimes I'll be feeling like you need that aggressive love. Sometimes I feel like you need somebody getting your fucking face and be like, say homie, the fuck you doing? You ain't you ain't doing right out in these streets. You ain't treating yourself like you would your best friend. Mm. Mm. But that's gonna be another YouTube session, okay, bitch. Um, in the mess while though, another thing that you'll get from me is a lot of community. Um, I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna preach to you how you make sure you ain't gonna throw the shit that you can away. There is so much that you can donate, and there's actually um things like don't donate shit that got holes in it and that are falling apart. But I got a place for you for shoes. They have holes in them and stuff like that. I got an organization you can send to. There's another company that out there who um they will take your torn clothes and stuff like that. So these two items right here that most people will go ahead and throw away they're like no why well, donate my good stuff you know what i'm saying but the stuff with the holes in it i go ahead and throw that away mm, i got somewhere you can take that shit you know what i'm saying i have been educated over the last 10 years on so many different ways that um we can repurpose and reorganize things and there's been so many folks who who saw that shit um 10 years ago and then they started a non-profit or a mutual aid and made sure that what um goes in the landfills or what most people will waste and stuff like that will come back and they'll be able to give it to somebody else so you're gonna get all that type of education and um, hopefully you just have a good ass time you know what I'm saying for the most part whenever the camera isn't facing me like I don't see myself talking oh I I totally have a great ass personality you will notice the difference when I can see myself I mm, yeah so anyways that that's a thing too oh I just checked to make sure that I was recording this <laughs> bitch who would have been mad about that shit not recording it was me okay anyway so Things to recap on. I'm your favorite professional organizer. Always have been, always will be. Don't fucking get it twisted. I need to come over with a tagline that. But it's something like that, you understand? Um, we're going to teach grace around here. It's going to be a whole cussing fucking session, you know what I'm saying? And we also going to come into grips with motherfucking reality. 2020 had us sitting in our spaces and looking at shit totally different. And I need you to keep that same motherfucking energy of, I need to work on me. Am I okay? What's my mental space looking like? You know what I'm saying? And then we can tackle the physical space. But some of y'all need the physical space tackled so you can tackle the mental space. We'll get into that later. You know what I'm saying? Another note, you can always check out my website, utilizingspace.com. Please subscribe. Please like and share the videos as always. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but in the midst while though, if there is uh, a community organization that you want to know about locally in the DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, metroplex um hit me up you know what i'm saying or if you uh need to know about uh, places that you can take your donations and shit you know what i'm saying i will give you any and all information that's for free i, I I'll, I'll spread that out that's part of my purpose is making sure the people understand where they can take their shit you know what i'm saying so even if you have an organizing question please feel free to hit me up you know what i'm saying but uh <laughs> We're going to be like, oh, shit, bitch, this is the first one. You know what I'm saying? We're going to archive this whole because this is going to be the first YouTube video. And I'm going to try to do my best not to edit it too much. Well, we'll see. So, like and subscribe. I don't know where the fuck I'm putting some buttons or some shit. All right. Y'all be good. Mm, bye. Oh, yeah. Utilize your space because you're amazing.